Guys, what's up? This is Steven. I just got back from doing a U14 state league game, a team from the Madison area against a team from the Milwaukee area. And um, I ended up giving like four cautions and then one red card. And um, I, it just, I, I, a thought of me occurred as I was uh, coming home from the game. When you give a yellow card or a, a red card, it's like automatically going to be a contentious situation or it's going to be confrontational or there's just going to be some resistance in the air. Somebody like, like did, you know, did a reckless foul or did something stupid or, you know, they didn't respect the distance or they delayed the restart or they came on the field without asking or something, something. And then you got to show them the caution, right? So. Someone's not gonna like that that they're getting disciplined, right? And even and this is even heightened when you give a red card. Like today, I gave a second caution and I went right to my pocket for my red, right? Because um, you know this kid just committed a reckless tackle from behind after he had you know borderline taunted somebody, which which, which was his which was his first caution. But the point is, as a referee during those moments, you are under increased scrutiny or because you're like laying down the law and and you're putting some people in their place and and either that 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 player's not going to like it or even more maybe his whole team's not going to like it or his coach is not going to like it or all three of those plus all of their parents are not going to like it right so you could be upsetting a lot of people so um it's it's important for me or i i started this in my game today that when you deliver that caution or or that red card that it looks smooth right like my caution is in my left pocket i can go and grab it without even looking i know right where it is boom i don't even have to have to, have to think about it right if i go to my right pocket right red i go boom it's right there so when i gave the second caution in the red i went here and then went right in boom right and i can stay looking at the player the whole time here Boom, and that action where like my, my body is open and I'm big and I'm here and I'm here, that, that projects confidence and assertiveness and control, right? I'm not like here and then let me find my other one and then go for it, right? That's like weak, all right? That's like you're, you're almost inviting criticism like, oh, hey, look, who is this dorky ref who doesn't even know where his cards are or who's like not smooth in his delivery? That is a time to be smooth, to be dialed in, to, to know the action, to know how you're going to do it, practice in the mirror a couple times, whatever. But you should know where those cards are. You should be able to find them without even looking. Front pocket, boom. This pocket, boom. All right? Have nothing else in the pocket so you're, so you're not grabbing something else. All right? At one point during the game today, I was uh, writing down a caution. And I reached into my right pocket and I brought out my red card. And then I realized I had my red card out and I had to put that away and get my other one. It just looks stupid. I look stupid in those moments. Don't do that. Be better than me, okay? Have certain pockets where you always keep your pencil, your notepad, your yellow card, your red card. Or if you have multiple yellows, blah, you know, whatever. But know where that stuff is because in those moments, right, you want the delivery to be smooth because it adds confidence and believability and your uh to what you're doing or, or what you're asserting with you know this is a yellow card this is a red card or it adds confidence and assertion to your decision and it makes it more believable all right okay i hope that's helpful guys we'll see you soon